and we are now getting really into the thick of this sort of medieval date. And here in this charming, delightful old town. Well, we had a wonderful visit to the Russian Orthodox Church. Uh, it's frightfully exciting, it's very involved, it's all the glittering screen, the wonderful uh, windows and all the ornaments, the chandeliers. But alas, we are not allowed to go to photograph inside, so you've got to take my word for it. exciting so far, but now we're going to go down the hill and see the medieval city, which is what I'm really looking forward to. From the upper city, and now we're in the lower city, the medieval city. This is our first view of it. It's the old Lutheran church. It's been here for 800 years. The Crusaders came here. And it's going to be interesting in a moment to go inside and see how different it is from the Russian Orthodox Church, with all the glitter, with all the shiny, the chandeliers and everything else, and the screens and all the lovely pictures. But the Lutheran Church, very simple inside. And this actually church was also the burial ground of many of the nobility of Estonia at that time. So it's 800 years old, and we're going to go and have a look inside. Here we are and see here how much more simple it is. Although we couldn't go into the Russian Orthodox, you could see from the outside that we had all the frills and all those bits, the shiny bits, but the Lutheran church are very much more simple. These very tall pews and, uh, well, somehow <laughs> rather a different god. The pews are really very austere when you think about it, tall and unforgiving. Powerful organ loft. It is it no longer used as a market square, but it is absolutely full of, um, of, of, of restaurants and cafes and coffee houses. It really is the most wonderful scene. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Are you okay? No. Yeah. This is the smallest shop in the whole of Tallinn, and the lovely, lovely sign on the front door suggesting it is plum full of bright ideas. It's a shop of knickknacks, and upstairs there is the smallest flat in Tallinn, which I gather is very comfortable, but absolutely minute. And also, have a look at the lovely uh, trees across the top and the coat of arms. Trees and coat of arms dating back to 1656. It's amazing what turns up almost around every street corner. It is a medieval city to compare with Visby, and yet on the other hand, it's bigger and a little bit more sort of, um, well, I suppose, tripper intensified because it's really full of tourists today, which is for us a little bit of a pity, but I think everyone's loving it. Well, we came across an old apothecary in Visby yesterday, dating back to uh, 1250. I won't say we've gone one better today in Tallinn, but this apothecary goes back to 1422. And there's a very long and amusing story in it, because um, with the poor people then who couldn't get hold of sugar, it was very, very expensive and rare. And they used to go in here, and hit the, the apothecary in those days would dispense marzipan which was a sort of almond mixture, which sugar would be added to it. And they would eat it, and it would keep that sugar, that blood sugar levels reasonably okay. And also, I believe there was a form of strega, which they later gave the people who came in for marzipan. So marzipan washed down by strega. In just a moment, but we're going to go in and see if we can do the same. It's rather exciting. But... Okay. 
walking past the Valeria up the street, it just shows you how packed it gets when there are four cruise ships in town, which is what we've got today. And it is, as you can see, if the umbrella's going by, just beginning to rain. Anyway, drinking beer undercover, or partially undercover at any rate, is not bad. My beautiful camera lady has a very well earned drink. She's done a marvellous job, and, um, and to you, darling, your very good health. Thank you. Well, you never know quite what you're going to get here in Tallinn either, like Bisbee yesterday, but this is a wonderful restaurant. And I'm sure it's probably one of the best restaurants in Tallinn. It looks really classy. Well, I'm being pursued by my friend from This charming little square is artistic Tallinn, right in the old quarter. And this delightful little passage brings us through to, to galleries and goodness knows what. Absolutely fascinating. This is the oldest clock in, in Tallinn. It was built in uh, 1600, um, Danish church. And when you look at it now, I think we've probably got just time for one more over before tea. Well, this is what they call Wall Street, rather different from the one in downtown Manhattan, but nonetheless, another Wall Street. The Wall Street here in um, Tallinn, and it's wonderfully coloured with wool, sheep, um, wool, and um, some really, really good value. But uh, it's too warm today, I think, to be buying sheep. <laughs> Just we're coming to the end of our visit, we arrive at the original gateway with the old original walls. And they're a fine spectacle too. And really, I just simply can't tell you what fun this has been and how well worth a visit it is. We're going to be coming back at the first possible opportunity. Visby one day and Tallinn the next.